Texas chapter of NAACP. Nelson, uh, you and several other members of the community walked out. Uh, right now, what has you upset? Well, two things. One, I want to thank Councilman Cole, Marston Spellman for taking a high role on this issue. He realized what we're fighting here in the city. We're going to call this the master plan of 2010. It's an insult to black people. Leffenwell is a two-faced liar. He and Martinez have worked together on this plan from day one. They are unworthy of public office. I'll tell you what, this kind of mentality is why we have racism in East Austin, improper facilities, lack of opportunities. These kind of people don't deserve to be public citizens. They're lying and they know it. But you know what? We're going to talk to Vincent because Vincent is honest. Wayne Vincent is very honest. They say what they feel and they do it. These folks are snakes. And, and, and let me tell you this also. That you want to pick a fight, you got one now. You got one now. We got the Department of Justice. We got the DA's office. We're going to get these some of the you-know-whats. But primarily, left world is a coward. He's a snake. And we're going to defeat him. And I would encourage folks, if you're a registered voter, remember Randy Shade. Remember the bicycle man, Chris Riley. Bicycles are more important than black people. Okay? Remember what he did tonight. This, right. this is serious. But most of all, Leffenwell stuck his tail between his legs. He is a coward. That's but right. you know what? Having said all this, this is, this is being human. We're going to work hard every day with our young folks to teach them proper principles, but also to empower themselves. Some of the guys like this don't deserve to be in public office. How, we, how we, 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 need, we need leadership That's right. and we need fairness. Let me ask you this. You have a chance now to get even more through, through the eyes of the jury, though. In, in well, 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 two things, two things. First of all, we know that in these kind of cases, 95% of the settled outside of court. This is unprecedented in Austin's history. But remember, this is, these are black kids that lives are not valued. And Martinez knows that, and so does Leffenwell. So for them to say something like that is totally disingenuous. They were made up two weeks ago. They don't want to put this. And also, so you know this, it's also an attack on the city manager. This is an attack on the city manager. They don't respect him. There's no way of messing with him. But having said all this, there are things called polls, and people can vote. So remember Randy Shade. Remember Riley, remember our next mayor who wanted to be Martinez, remember left one. We're going to defeat them in the street wherever it takes. But to the police union, at least you're honest. There's some good cops here. We're going to work with you. But at the same time, we're going to fight for justice. Once again, you have the DA's office that's still open and Department of Justice. But this is incredible. This is an insult to this whole country. You know what? For the business folks who want to come to Austin, Texas, this is a white skin privileged city. So if you're going to do a conference here, think about going elsewhere. You, you want to lose money? Okay, you know, you picked the war. We're going to fight it That's right. on every front available. And I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> hey, Nelson, do you know how many in bundle contributions APA gave to uh, Mayor Leffingwell this past election? Well, yeah, yeah, and, and that's the political process. Bingo. But still, he serves. Look, 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 also, remember this. $1. Black folks in East Austin pay the same tax rate. So you say taxpayer money. We buy things all the time that we don't want. We do it all the time. So what's the difference? Uh, really what's, what's the difference? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid yeah, question yeah, here yeah. is just uh, to get this settlement and to put it away. Uh, we're not talking the monetary value. We're talking about having this settlement. The fact that they don't do this. Uh, I mean, what? Why to you was it so important to get this settlement and be done with? It? Because one, let's face it, this is the same folks who couldn't even read the key point report. That's right. They hit, Thank you. That they ignored it for six months. They've not practiced the African American part of their life in any way financially. They've ignored their own commitment here five years ago. These folks are liars. If you make that kind of mistake, then they are liable. They are more liable than the police were in this whole case. So how can you run this city if you don't read your own boundary resolutions, you don't invest in equity in each community? These people are hypocrites. But you know what? We know that already. We try to work with them. But the bottom line is they're going to have to pay a price for this. And you know what? They're going to have to live with it. Because right now, I'm more convinced than ever. We've got to expose these people and make sure from a business standpoint, when you come to this city, remember what they do to black people in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. you, want, you want to talk about money? Check your budget next year when you see conventions coming here. So we're going to fight your work. Money matters? Okay. You picked it. We're going to finish it. Are you threatening a boycott Boston? of the city? I know that you guys said that. I don't believe in boycotts. I believe in collective bargaining. I believe in boycotts. What, what is this? It's, it's, a, it's a legal term. Like a legal term is collective bargaining. That's important, okay? That's important. Folks chose where they spend their money. They, they want to spend their money? Hey, we have